feel like go I'm ahead. Go on. Well, I was saying freshman year, I lived in Matheson Perry, and every Sunday I would walk to the Taco Mac, like that same one, so that I could watch the Bills. Oh. <laughs> yep. The only place I see, I see every Bills game now. Why? Yeah, that must be fucking awesome. I'm in Bills area. Oh. Bills, uh, I'm I'm near the mafia. You're always looking for sports statistics. You've been absorbed into the mafia by proximity. You're so sporty, Daniel. What are you talking about? I don't know. You're just really sporty. The... <laughs> All right, we'll go to theme there. <laughs> While we figure out what Mary's talking, I don't know what you're talking. About. This is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. Anyone? And Nathan. Okay. Who else is here? Oh, and Mary. <laughs> this is an audio podcast, which means you have to speak. The the light Wait, hand the camera. Waving. Yeah. I thought you were just pa- pausing. <laughs> for you to speak. Uh, for effect. <laughs> that was a long pause for effect. You ask too much of your guests, you know? How are they supposed to know? To say, hi, I'm Mary. Yeah, that's a really, that's a Not struggle. everyone is, uh, I need a, listens to every need episode, a, you know? I need a script. Mary's been on a couple times. I haven't listened. You think I could listen to myself? It's not possible. Actually, I really enjoy now listening. The first time I went back and listened to the, like, the first one I was on, I was like, oh, it's going to be weird. But, uh, I thought I did a great job. My performance on the podcast is, uh, gone down considerably since then. I was really focused, you know. Wanted yeah. to put out a good episode. For sure. You thought you did a really good job? Yeah, the the first one, the Monday Night Football game. Oh. That yeah. Wasn't... Actually, that one. That, that episode some good things. is. That episode is sporty. That is yeah, a that sporty is a sporty episode. episode. Oh, let me turn the brightness. Oh, the one when Taylor was on, and I had my friend's hot takes prepped. That was a fun little segment. Anyway, the point is, you go back and you listen, and you're like, I don't know. I I think you can just get over it, because hearing your voice isn't that bad. Mm. And then it's just because you never hear your voice, like, from an outside thing. So once you do it for a little bit, you get used to it. And then it's like, fine. Or not you get used to it, but you just know what it sounds like. Because right now you don't know what it sounds like. Mm. It's not good. I'm always disturbed by how nasally my voice is i don't (laughs) i don't think of myself as being a nasally person but then i I don't know that's the thing no one else does either stop being so critical on yourself well mary you're in for a treat because today's episode we are doing a live reaction of mary's first episode on the podcast why Why? so let me pull that (laughs) out it's a horrible thing Did so, Mary uh, say something offensive? Probably. Yeah, go ahead. Nick. Mary, what did you have going on today? Because Daniel kept moving the times on me. So. She, this was, a, well, it was supposed to be tomorrow, and then it was, yeah. Then it was moved, then. I didn't move it to today. Oh, yeah, I have, that's right, I have something. I preferred, oh. preferred tomorrow, but then Daniel came in and shook I could up. do tomorrow later in the evening, but I didn't know you what know what? Let's We're already here. <laughs> Let's <laughs> just do something. It's over. You know what? We're scheduled. We're we're retroactively scheduling this episode while we record this one. That's uh right. Um, Two part. What did I have going on? I had a quiz in thermodynamics this morning. It was mm, not my best work, and then I had nothing. I just worked on. The project. Great. What about you guys? Uh, Nathaniel? You're asking me what I did today? Yeah. Uh, I just worked. Well, actually, good point. I uh, woke up at 6.20, and I went golfing, played nine holes before work. Oh, my god. I thought you were golfing. Oh, no, never mind. Yep. Uh, I played fucking awful. 
the only good club I have is my driver, which makes no sense. Traditionally, that's one of the more difficult clubs. But I can't hit a low iron to save my fucking life. Um, but my chipping's gotten better. Uh, I got very frustrated this morning. Because the thing that's tough with golf is, okay, let's compare it to, like, climbing, which I do a lot, right? If, if there's a difficult climbing route, you just do an easier one. And then it's like, okay, no problem. But in golf, you can't choose to do an easier thing. It's just the same thing over and over again. And if you suck at it, then you just have to live with that. <laughs> so anyway. I hear you. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> she heard you speak. I'm sorry for that. Look at that nice. This is. See, we're already getting so sporty, and we've barely started. There's a lot of sports going on here. Well, his I just went golfing. Started to climbing, and now he's drinking out of this Bill's cup. On That's purpose, true. he's showing us the logo on purpose. Yeah, it's logo. Right, right, right. You guys on the radio can't hear, can't see that, but he's showing. On the radio? <laughs> on the radio, I can't hear it. I don't know if we... No. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, then I got back in the pretty normal day of work. What time did you have to wake up for all that? 6.20. Oh. That's so late. Daniel Mary knows when I get up. He's texting me in the middle of the night. <laughs> it wasn't the middle of the night. <laughs> 4 o'clock in the morning. It was, not, it was 4.45. That's almost 5 o'clock. Absurd. It's going to be earlier when I go back on shift and I start work at 6. Oof. Then I gotta get up at like. My mom's got you beat though. She wakes up at three. Doesn't start what? work until eight. Yeah, see, that's uh. She just likes to have her time in the morning. Yeah. Daniel's frozen. Oh no. No, I'm not frozen. I'm just that's <laughs> just bizarre. Still. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine doing that? Like, okay. No. I, when I worked for Delta, I would like try to get up a little early. And then, like, make breakfast and, like, you know, watch the news before. And it was actually really nice for, like, the week that I did it. And then I just, like, drank too much, like, one night, like, once. And then immediately that, like, threw me out of the <laughs> loop. <laughs> and I was, like, waking up early blows. And then I just never did it. I like early, but three. I have to wake up. I prefer when it's starting to get light outside. If it's still dark outside, I, I'm not happy. Then it feels like night, and I hate night. So you need to wait until sunrise? I prefer to. Oh it's not always goodness. possible. So for reference, pulling it up. Yeah, sunrise for me today was 7.05. Ooh. So you I don't even I, I can't even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't work for me. Sunset was half an hour ago. It's too early. Really short days here. It's pretty far north, so. Um, so you got like the sun, then you got the planet. It's it's on an axis. Yeah, tilted. A little tilted, it's yeah. A bit of a tilt. A bit of a tilt. A sun somewhere in there. I already said the sun. Oh. Well, you Mary, can't you... forget the sun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. Uh, that reminded me. I was interested in what, like, the Wonderlick test involved. So I took a practice one online just to, like, see what it was like. And one of the questions was literally, like, which one of these is the biggest? And then it was, like, the Sun, Jupiter, Earth, or Mars. <laughs> and that's crazy because, like, the Sun is so much bigger than anything listed. What is this test you speak yeah, of? Yeah, you're going to have to, for, for, have to for the like... people that aren't sorting. <laughs> Uh, is this a sporty test? This is a sporty, this is a sporty it, test. It's a test that like uh, NFL players have to take for the combine. It's supposed to. It's like the SAT for NFL players. Like it's supposed to measure their it's intelligence. Sure not concussed or something? <laughs> no, no, they, they don't care about. Just to see like how smart you are. Yeah, they don't Why care about concussion. Know that? Huh? Why would they need to know that? How smart so, you are. I don't, just to know who you're dealing with, I don't know. I mean, there's a certain level of, like, intellect that you need because you're memorizing plays or, you know, you're processing yeah. things in your head. So they like to know, but it doesn't, I mean, this is, like, you know, fun data or whatever, but, like, 
I'm pretty sure historically it doesn't line up with who the best quarterbacks are and things like that. No, it doesn't matter at all. Do you know what Frank Gore's wonder list score was? Sorry, what? Sorry, I just have a fun fact for Daniel. Say it. Do you know what Frank Gore's wonder list score was? I'm pretty was? sure his is really low. Yeah, it was two out of 50. There were 50 questions and he got two, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's so many really dumb athletes out there. It does not take great brains. Well, anyway, so yeah, just in case you forgot, the sun is much larger than anything else in our solar system. Thank you. You're welcome. That's going to be my fun fact the next time someone asks for a fun fact. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, <laughs> it is very fun. And they'll hate me. <laughs> How do you guys, like, memorize the planets? I don't. You, you don't know the planets? Like, in Mary order? could not tell you a planet's name. I can name a few. She's like, Dorothy? Is that a planet? <laughs> what do you mean a few? You don't even know how many planets there are? Like, how many planets are there? The number. Well, that's up for debate. There, there well, used to be it's nine. Not. Okay, good. Now there's yeah. eight, maybe. It that's, that's, yes. kind of depends on who you ask. Jupiter, no. Venus, Mars, there's Jupiter, eight. Venus, Mars, Earth, Saturn. Wait, wait, what'd you say, Jupiter? Is that in order? I hope not. <laughs> no, no. It's definitely not. You're oh, forgetting some wait. on the ends. Neptune. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're forgetting the two on either end. Well, I know Pluto is the question mark. Well, no, that, that's doesn't not Doesn't count. Point. Yeah, it doesn't count. Venus. You said you that. <laughs> All right, then, you don't have to do this. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Wait, no, 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 okay. We're trying to convince you to listen well, there, to the there's podcast. An acronym. There's an acronym. Right. That's what I was asking if you use. That's how this started. Because no, I don't use the acronym. I think I just but know it. My mother makes me a very good pie or something. What is that's, it? that's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Every planet starts with M. Yeah. <laughs> my mother, my makes, mother makes me. Mars, 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 Mars. <laughs> What is the acronym? <laughs> That's something to do. With I don't know. Mind. It's got to be my very something, right? Just my you. Very, very eager mother. Yes. I, I don't even know. I'm, I'm just e? using the planets and we're eager. What? What planets are? My very excited <laughs> mother just <laughs> gave us. I was you did not that. I was thinking oh, I feel the, so hard, bad. the hard E sound. So I was like, right, e. right. So I this have... is funny because like 10 minutes ago, we were like, no, no, no. Like you should go back and listen. So when you're on the podcast and then especially since the plane has come up, we've just been shitting on you. And it's not a very flattering moment. So I feel bad for my that. My mother. No, my very... my very excited mother just served us. And then you could pick an N food item. What? So here it has nachos. The another one has noodles. Uh, Look up the one that has pie in it, please. Mary, what <laughs> oh, it's probably it's nice pie, pie like for Pluto. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there would have to be. I was gonna say there's no other P planet. I really felt like it had to do with mother making a pie. Yeah, it's probably my very excited mother just served us nice pie. Or, I remember it being more catchy than that. Okay. <laughs> not Did easy to look at. It's obviously not because you don't remember it. <laughs> yeah. Good. Did I not say all of them? No. You didn't? You missed two. You missed the ones on the ends. Yeah. What's the closest planet to the sun? It's also an element on the periodic table. Mm, oh. Helium. Uranus. <laughs> oh, that's okay. one. That, that's the farthest. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> that's not the one we were talking about, but you got one. It's on the periodic table? So is uranium. So. Well, that is okay. 
<laughs> That's like, you know the picture where it's like Dolores restaurant, but then like the RES is like broken. And the Tarant is broken. So, oh fuck, you guys know what I'm talking about. God damn it. Yeah, what are you it's talking just, about? Uh, there's this picture. Okay, okay. Uh, imagine, imagine a sign and it says Dolores restaurant. Okay. And it's supposed to be all lit up, but the RES in Dolores is broken and the T through T in restaurant is also broken. It still says Dolores restaurant. It's just that the RES from restaurant is the end of the word. Anyway. That's a that was a meme a while back. Sorry, this is too deep of a reference for you guys. But the point is, Literally. it's for when like it's for like when things work, but not in the way that you intended them to. So I don't know how us telling you that Mercury was on the periodic table made you think of uranium, which made you think <laughs> of Uranus. But that's exactly that situation. It was like totally unintended. Like I would have never thought of that in a billion years. Yeah, that was. But it worked. So. Mercury. That's it. <sighs> you should make the you should make like the picture for this episode, the Dolores restaurant photo. Mm. We don't do pictures. I think you should no. make it the We're not fun. We're not fun. Also, we can you put fun. sock hop bop as the intro? Uh <laughs> we don't own that song that? though. I'd have to buy it. No. No, you don't. It's on the free thing. That's the whole reason yeah, I you know about it. it. No, because we make money off the podcast, so I had to like get a license, oh get a license God. for it. Yeah, it's not as easy as you think. If Just we didn't, it. if we didn't, I'd have to demonetize the episode and credit the original person, which I, isn't. I just put it in the description, but I'd have to take the ad off the podcast. And Dude. Mary knows that this is you most of the You is need this, that money. <laughs> I, I need the that. That mud, that deep podcast money to. That's important. Pay the bills here. Get it because it's bill. Okay. Anyway. Uh, you guys know Daniel's like rich now, right? How much money now? Mean? I will be in like a year. He's filthy rich. <laughs> like dirty. I very seriously looked into becoming a nuclear what operator. Is it? Yeah, operator. operator. You but should. I don't think I could handle the hours that you work, nor living in the middle of nowhere. You don't have to live in the middle of nowhere. There's a new plant in Vo like Fogel in Georgia. I think I told you about that. That's... I'm trying to get everyone to be an operator. Where? So <laughs> Vogel. Just... Where's Vogel? Uh, it's... Atlanta? It's like in the middle of the state, I think. I was looking it up, and it doesn't seem like there's any, like, in a city, which I really... No, because that's the whole point of a nuclear yeah, power plant. I don't think people true. want it, want to, like, want it next to the Walmart. What no, about Oak Ridge? One, there's one in um that's... Jensen, in Jensen Beach, Florida. Oak Ridge is a national lab. It's not a power plant. They have nuclear, uh, like, the DOD has some nuclear stuff there. I thought there was, yeah, I thought there was nuclear stuff. No, Vogel's not in the middle of nowhere, sorry, in the middle of the state. It's near Augusta. That's like a three-hour, four-hour drive. So I guess I could take a break, go make <laughs> $200,000 a year, come That's back, like that, right? live my real life. Yeah. Resume. I also don't think I could handle the stress. It's not that stressful. Look, I'm just, I do a podcast on the side. That's how, that's how little stress it is. People's lives are in your hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Did you watch Chernobyl? Yeah, are you talking to Mary or me? Well, more so you, but I guess both. I didn't watch it. Does that, do those things stress you out? Or are you like, oh shit, that's going to be me? <laughs> you know, we, so we do talk about Chernobyl a lot here, obviously. You know, we talk about, like, events in the industry, Fukushima, obviously. And, like, Chernobyl, I mean, I know every plant says this, but, like, what happened there is, like, crazy, right? Like, I don't even know how that could happen. Well, it's because they weren't using the tips on the rods. They weren't doing they a lot of problems. So, like, they continued. Yeah. They basically said, screw safety. We're just going to, we got to do this test because it's going to cost us money. Like, we wouldn't do that now, you know. I would like to think if we were running a test, like what happened was like they were running a test. Um, they were doing some testing and 
there were some problems that came up in the uh, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what they would call it, but like the the manager, the shift manager there was like, no, we got to proceed through this test because otherwise they wouldn't be able to do the test for like another year and it cost them, you know, millions of dollars or whatever. That was one problem. There were a bunch of other issues, like super inexperienced people. Like it would be like if I were running the plant right now and I don't have enough experience for that. And we don't do that now, obviously. It's a lot better training. And, you know, besides the Russia problems, Soviet Russia. Mary, how's your cat? He's good. <clears throat> Please don't blow us up, Daniel. See, okay, that's the other thing. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to blow up. There's not enough nuclear fuel to cause a bomb, if that makes you feel better, Mary. Not a bomb, but a meltdown, right? Maybe How do you make any power? That's not a blow up. That's like, yeah. a meltdown, they're kind of like leaks. What about, have you seen that episode of The Simpsons where I, Homer, yeah, yeah. you know it? I don't know, I've seen a lot of The Simpsons. When Homer works from, he gains a lot of weight so that he can get put on medical disability for obesity. And then he puts that little, that little bird that dips in water and goes like this. I know the mm -hmm. people on the video can't see that, but he puts bobs, that in yeah. terms of uh, releasing the nuclear gas or whatever to, I don't know, cool or something. And then the thing runs out of energy, so he almost causes an explosion, and then he runs to the plant. And you know how he saves them from a meltdown? He falls into the tank, and his body conceals the opening so that the gas doesn't escape somehow. Now, are you asking me if that's what's going to happen at this point? <laughs> I think it sounds very realistic. <laughs> I'm just curious if you've ever seen anything like that. Mary, do you like think that. anything that you just said could possibly happen? <laughs> well, I think we have to just do it and find out. So, Daniel, step one, let's get I, obese. Let's get some obesity. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I, let's I, make I, it happen. Away. I think I need, what, like 150 pounds? Yeah. In the, in the show, Start like right now. He has to gain like 250. Oh yeah, because Homer's already a lot. Yeah, he's already. He's, he's already like two. Didn't you buy ice cream like one or two episodes ago? So that's a good start. There you I go. Don't have, <laughs> don't have ice cream. Uh, did I? Because you ate it. That's right. I haven't <laughs> had ice cream in a few months. Which are, what are you talking? Good boy. <laughs> it was it was one or two episodes ago. Oh, so, Nathaniel, maybe. you like really listen to these. Yeah, I do really listen to these. And he doesn't share it with his friends, which is part of the issue. Or... He doesn't share it with his friends? No. I know Mary shares it with everyone she knows. So. Oh, yeah. The guy who listens to every episode and can reference things from him is the issue. Yep. That's how you build a fan base. I put it on my Instagram. So... Oh, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. But I could. If you want. Well, anyway, I think I hear me and i don't want that i think i talked about the simpsons on last week's episode there's a lot of stuff that it gets wrong pretty Maybe much that's everything what, that's what i was referencing yeah pretty much everything in that show is wrong so feel well, better mary they really nailed the head on american stupidity really nailed the head <laughs> is that how you say it nailed the head that's hit the nail on the head Nailed. Yeah. <laughs> Mine works. Or you could just say it. nailed. You could just say nailed. But do you think that expression nailed. came from the term hitting the nail on the head? Nailing nailed. it. Yeah. yeah. Or do you think it comes from the other thing? <laughs> Go ahead, Mary. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think that's more like a, like, how do I put it? Like a kind of like physical similarities of like, you know, like, other, right, exactly. Yep. All right. We're Mary, you, that? <laughs> <laughs> you on the radio couldn't see that, but. <laughs> we're on the same page. The gesture. Um, or is it something sexist? Like how guys are like. Nailed it. 
nailed that chick. Or like, you know. Where's the sexist part, though? I don't know what you're getting at here. Yeah, you just did like a douchebag impression. Yeah, I I understand you were doing sex as a guy, but I don't understand how (laughs) the expression is sexist. It's like, oh, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Could you do that in your douchebag guy voice again? I did that. Ooh. <laughs> and then you got to make weird grunting sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While oh, you're doing this, thing, in general. this is getting more and more bizarre. <laughs> hey, do you guys have a recommendation for a plant I could buy? I already have a snake plant and an agave a plant. No. Yeah, agave. No, aloe. I have an aloe plant. What else? What kind of environment are you looking at? Indoor. Good sunlight, bad sunlight? Next to a window. But we're coming up on the winter, so you're not going to get as good sunlight as you would have in the summer. Is that true? So, Mary, there's the sun. (laughs) It's the largest thing in our solar system. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's that whole thing about winter. <laughs> I watched uh, a really good TED talk today, actually, about global uh, cooling. Do you know anything about that, Daniel? Global cooling? Mm-hmm. Just a subset of climate change? No. What are you getting at? Global cooling. I'm waiting for the punchline. Yeah. <laughs> no, no joke. <laughs> it's um how they're combating, or one way that they're looking at combating global warming. No, by... just said... no you said it's a subset of global warming. Subset okay. of climate change. Climate change. Global cooling. Okay, go ahead. Is the opposite. They, I don't fully understand it, but something about the wavelengths and you make them into one and then you shoot it through something. Aren't you like um, a chemist? <laughs> You're not really giving me much to work off of here. <laughs> they have the wavelengths and then you shoot it through something and. Well, that's basically. No, you got to think them up first. Oh, yeah, you pick them up. You pick them up. Sorry. Am I the only one who thinks they're not very helpful? So Mary, this is like if I went to you and I said, so Mary, they're, they're building this new bridge out here, and I, I don't know what they're doing. They have like some rocks, and uh, <laughs> there's some slushy thing, and they, they kind of just put it together, and then you got a bridge. Is that how you do it? I think I would have a pretty good understanding of that. <laughs> I mean, from my perspective, that's exactly how you make a bridge. <laughs> Same. Let me ask you guys this. When picking a job, say you have two job offers and one is for mm, not like Daniel money, but like good money. (laughs) The other one, and it's for like, um, let's just say construction of water treatment facilities. Random job. Who knows what it yeah, actually is. You just pick a random, like, generic job. You know, whatever. The other one is smaller, seems like it has more women, and is less money. Or like Nathaniel money. More like, it's still better than Nathaniel money, okay. but... <laughs> yeah, you can't make less than me. <laughs> I mean, you already know what my answer would be because of that, right? Like, I chose this on purpose. Like, yeah, I could sell not, my soul to Deloitte. It's not but like I'm one of the that. jobs is so much more fulfilling than the other. They're both just, um, say, construction. But one is I water mean, treatment facilities. The other one is just, like, normal commercial buildings. But the other one seems to have more women and... 
the big one seems like just a bunch of old white dudes. But maybe I, I can say, change it from the inside. Yeah, so like the place that I work at is a lot of old white dudes, but they are hire, trying to hire more women. And like a lot of the people that are getting promoted are women and people of color. So a lot of these places do change. I wouldn't just take it at like face value. Yeah, uh, I also don't really know because I only interviewed with two people and they happen. Oh, sorry. I guess this stopped being a hypothetical. No, um, I, I, you were to interview. I already inter I only interviewed with two guys and they happen to be old white men. So. And one of them. I think. Uh, didn't wear a mask. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Go on. You're bringing up a really good point, which is that there are a lot more factors to your, not your generic you, people's well-being other yeah. than like how much money you make and all that stuff, right? Yeah. So very interesting study from a little while ago was, <clears throat> okay, uh, if you take people's commute times who commute an hour or more to work and cut it in half, their life improvement from that change in circumstance is equivalent to about twenty thousand dollars a year. Oh my god! Yeah, it, because it's just so taxing to drive that far. That I mean, that's quite the stipulation, right? Like an hour commute and then cut in half or more. Yeah. So it's a specific subset. But even as an extension of that, right? Like that's very uh, ambitious and good that you're like, oh, change it from the inside when you're talking about dealing with these shitty companies. But also, that is not always even possible. And then you're really just like running into a wall by trying That's to achieve cool. that. Your, their, your coworkers, I think, matter a lot. In particular, your immediate supervisor. Like all, so many of my friends, some weird shit happens where they're working until like 9 p.m. and they're like, oh, like my boss. I, I had a friend who had to take a sick day for something legitimate and they were like, oh no, like my boss is gonna like be a prick about me being sick and not being able to work today on this stuff. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, like, I don't know. My boss is awesome. I mean, Justin's really cool. We all have experience with that. So, I mean, that's just really nice. Nah. Okay, time out. J Justin would never get on your case about anything, right? Like, that's that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, where it's like, if something pops up, he's not going to be like, oh, you need to do all that oh, shit. Yeah, that's but sure. some people are fucking like that, which I think is really annoying. But anyway, I don't know about studies on all those other factors. I only know the one that has a numerical value at the end for the commute time. But the point is all those things matter like a lot. And mm -hmm. I don't know. Some people really care about money. I don't at all. I would rather just I would say don't worry about yeah, don't worry about the money. Even though it seems like I did, this is the only job offer I got. So uh I wasn't the prettiest girl at the ball like Mary is with all these options. Right. My options uh, aren't for two hundred thousand dollars a year, though. Let me I don't you. make two hundred thousand a year. <laughs> well, we're just gonna say you do. Yeah, okay. Uh, especially, it. it's especially close. where you are in your career, Mary, where you're just starting. Like, just do what you want, right? You don't have, and you also don't have like, I don't, I don't know what your specific well, financial situation is, but you don't have I, a family or well, whatever. I'm trying to make myself financially independent for a couple of reasons, but. I won't get into that. There's other factors too, though. I made it only about money, but also there are perks to working at like a bigger company right out right out of school because you get more exposure to stuff, and they say it's easier to go from big to small than from small to big, or whatever. I don't know. I mean, maybe there's certain benefits that you would want. I don't know what your no, like um, as far as I, I, I know what you're saying, I feel like I'm. In, in... In, in addition, like there's other things that they could offer you that uh, might affect your decision that you're, I guess you're. So far, yeah, so far all it is, is I don't know anything about water treatment facilities, so they stress me out and overwhelm me. And I do know lots of things about commercial buildings because you see them all the time. And that's what my experience is in. And. The people I interviewed with there were almost all women. So those are the only things. It's not like they have any great benefits or whatever. They've got like a 3.5 star on Google, which isn't well, great. That's but a... a lot of general contractors don't have very good ratings on Google. So. 
Have you tried? And you don't know anyone before? that works at these places? No, no, I don't. Do you guys have Glassdoor? Because it keeps kicking me out. <laughs> it wants me to write oh, a review, wow. and I said no. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, just go incognito tab. I'm not gonna know. Yeah, what? Can I do that? Mary's like, what's incognito? I can, I can surf the web without Who's stopping me? Right <laughs> I thought incognito wasn't like really incognito. It is and it isn't. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Like Chrome it doesn't save soaps. your it doesn't save your cookies. My cookies. That is true. <laughs> but your like your your internet provider still keeps track of that. That's if that's what you're wondering. So whatever you use, you know, Comcast right, whatever. Okay. They know what Nathaniel was looking at last night on Incognito. Thunder. Thunder. Hey. Get off of there. Okay. Mary, there is a mute button. Uh, for Land on the law. I thought you guys wanted the raw. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is all about experiences, right? There we go. Trying to get the full experience here. Yep. Uh, we got it. We got it. I don't have a rim shot available for you, so uh, <laughs> I don't have a whole full engineering studio here to put in sound effects. Would you yeah, do, Mara? Daniel? Uh, sorry. Huh? Go ahead. What did you do today, Daniel? I went to work. I had a very. So I just took my final yesterday. So now we're just kind of doing some miscellaneous stuff. Um, just some like procedures and whatever until I go back. To on shift in a couple of weeks, where I will be doing like more on the job stuff. So it's like hands on training. So I actually I did a lot of sitting around. We we had some classes from like seven to ten ish, and then we just kind of sat around on what they call self study. Self study. Yeah, which isn't really it. Uh, yeah, we have some uh classes coming up. I don't even know what we're doing tomorrow. Oh, we're learning how to hang tags. It's I'm apparently sure. very convoluted. Um, do you like your boss, Daniel? I so like where I work at. There's a lot of levels of supervisors, um, and but all of them are really are, are great. Like the culture here is pretty good. Um, like I said, they're hiring a lot more women and and people of color, especially with my group, which they wouldn't have done before. Um, yeah, and the, and the bosses are all great. I mean, it's it's a very like regimented. It's nuclear power, so it's very like militaristic. Like, there's not a lot. Yeah, it's very much like if you do your job, no one's gonna get on you. Like, you do, yeah. Militaristic. Well, like half the people here are like former Navy because they worked in nuclear because yeah. Navy runs nuclear. So makes sense. A lot of it's that, and like we need to be on point with everything. Obviously, as you said, Mary, you don't want a, an explosion. No. So everything's very by the procedure, by the book. Like if you again, if you just do your job, no one will bother you. No. Not to say it's not fun. Like it's still a fun job. You're basically Homer Simpson. <laughs> I am basically the same as Homer Simpson in every aspect. Marge, Marge, give me a beer. Oh, that was okay. Oh, okay. All right. Nathaniel, why do you look all smug over there? He looks very smug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening and uh, I don't know. It's, uh, got this Daniel's look being goofy, face. so he's like smirk. Yep. I don't know what to tell you. I just thought uh, thought Daniel was being a goofball. So I'm never a goofball. Mary, you're pulling something up. What? Is incognito working for you? Yeah, but I didn't want to be rude. Oh, no, go ahead. There's no rudeness here. <clears throat> Everybody says cons. Hmm. Management is detached from the day to day. Cons. Mistakes aren't often learned from. Cons. 
job owns your hours. What? That means like if they want you to work until nine that day, you need there to. There could be, yeah, there could be like a lot of unpaid overtime. But um, work until okay, nine. I wish I could leave at nine. A lot of people are saying cons, middle of the road pay, low 401k match. It's yeah. got how many? Okay, 4.3 stars on Glassdoor. And I'll look up the other one. I don't want to say it in case um, they're listening. Of course, and they are listening. <laughs> okay. This place has... Wow. Oh, they're kicking me out again. I need a new incognito tab. <laughs> I mean, it, Mary, it sounds like you're kind of leaning toward one, and I would say go with that one. Yeah. I, don't, I think you guys are incorrect. I don't feel like I'm leaning towards anywhere. Look can inside your heart of hearts. We can tell. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the classic, it's the classic end of a, end of a but, sitcom but we, episode. We can't tell you because you need to realize it yourself. You know what I mean? Or else it won't feel right. You'll still be you'll you'll still feel like oh like other people tell me what to do, but yeah. you need to come to this epiphany on your on I your own accord. Love when other people tell me what to do. Makes it easier I, for. Her. I crave instructions. Mary, this is what you need to do. Okay. What? No. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, this is perfect. I'm telling you that you need to figure it out on your own. That's what you. There you go. That's too wow. open ended. She doesn't like open ended instruction. She needs concrete. This is exactly what to do. She wants to be a robot in her life. Ooh, yikes. They don't have as good of a rating, but Glassdoor is kicking me out again. Also, not everything on those websites is like obviously completely accurate, right? It's like the. I, yeah. Small I sample size error. Yeah, small sample. It's also like you're looking at the people that have strong opinions one or other. It's like the teacher rating websites. Sometimes they're accurate, but sometimes it's just. But see, there I know what to look for because whenever there's a professor where it's like, oh, like this person's really tough, but they care or some shit like that. Th those are the professors you want to take, even if their ratings are questionable. Sure, but Mary doesn't know what to look for. She doesn't even know about incognito. I can't get it because it kicked me out again. Somehow it knows that, somehow it knows that it's still me. I don't know. Should how. use a different browser. Yeah, you can use a different browser if you got another one. Do I even have another browser? What are you Mary's using? Like, a browser. <laughs> Mary's going into Google. What is a browser? <laughs> I'm on Safari now. Oh. Do you think it can figure it out that it's me? Nah. I don't know how to use Safari. You go oh, into the God. search bar. You guys okay. can hear me clickety clacketing, can't you? It's too late. A little bit, yeah. That's good staying in. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I'll try to type really quiet. I get it, well, okay. So like, here's the problem. So Nathaniel and I were clearly on the same page for what what we thought you thought about these places, but you're telling us we're completely wrong. No. So I don't know how to help you now. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. We're right. We're right. Okay. Because <laughs> we both that? thought we both thought that you were leaning toward one, but you're telling us that's not true. No, I... she just doesn't realize it yet. Oh, okay. That's what I think. That's what I think. I <laughs> see. I see. You know, you yeah. This is a classic thing. You're asking friends for advice because you don't know something. I know I do this all the time, and then all of a sudden, everyone's like, mm, like, it was kind of clear when we talked about it, and I was like, I didn't think that, but. But again, you have to look deep inside. Look is it one of those deep. things where she wants us to tell her that we're she that she should do one of them? I think so. Yeah. Okay. But she wants not. to hear it from someone else. Only seventy five percent approve of their CEO. That's Mary, three out of four. I could, <laughs> Mary, I could not give any opinion about my CEO right now. <laughs> One way or the other. Seems would fine. You, 
Only 61% would recommend to a friend, though. That's... But you know what? They got a five... They got a five star on diversity and inclusion, which surprises me. Is this the one that is not the diverse one? Or that is the diverse I made that statement about them having only met two people. <laughs> is this the one that's definitely just white people or? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, they kicked me out again. What happens is they won't let me click on a second link. Oh well, yeah. You got greedy. Sign in. <laughs> then how do you know what to look for? If you can't That's what you you could ask that sort of stuff in the interview. What did you ask in the interview? That may or may not have happened for these arbitrary jobs. Uh, hey, what percentage of you guys like <laughs> approve of the CEO? Yeah. <laughs> Just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can get you can get ideas for how how the culture Asking is. Asking these kinds of questions in the interview one when I'm interviewing I'm interviewing to get hired, which I did. Two. You didn't get hired. Of, you got offered. Yeah, whatever. Um, part of that is not Maybe. asking questions that you think the other person really doesn't want to answer. So. Okay, I guess I don't mean like, what do you think about your CEO, but you can get other ideas for how the job is, like at least on a day-to-day, -day, those sorts of things. Maybe one job has a much better like day-to-day -day operation, whereas the other one is owns your hours or whatever. I don't even know what that means. Do you? All right, we, we, we told you 15 minutes ago. Nathaniel's <laughs> rubbing his eyes for our listeners. Uh... <laughs> I thought we were pretty clear. Uh, we gave you two different definitions, too, that both said the same thing. <laughs> I was busy on Glassdoor. <laughs> this is what I mean about being rude. <sighs> Will you guys tell me again? You got to go back and listen. <laughs> you gotta go. Oh, yeah, that'll get you to listen. It's yeah, like, you got to listen. Get thing every 15 seconds until it comes up. Well, you can get it. It's generic time. But, yeah. I'm just gonna search it on Bing. <laughs> I Bing. <laughs> Bing? Yahoo search? <laughs> just to be different. <laughs> oh man. Apple's coming out with a search engine. You guys hear about that? That's just what the world needs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We've been asking for it. Search engine? I couldn't have asked for a better Christmas present than a search engine from Apple. One last thing before we go. I want to bring to everyone's attention that yesterday, or maybe the day before, Nathaniel sent me a very cryptic, cryptic text message. Nothing cryptic about it. it oh, was boy. Literally is this, just is this allowed asking. to be shared on the podcast? There are kids <laughs> yeah, listening. I'm actually surprised it didn't get brought up earlier. <laughs> okay. That's true. You waited a long time. I forgot. Go ahead, Nathaniel. Tell the people what you did. No, no, no. You brought it up. I, I didn't <laughs> tell the people what you did. <laughs> okay, go ahead. He asked me about Catholic church camp. What? <laughs> it's very cryptic. Yeah, just okay. Said, there's this. It, all right, it's not cryptic at all. Go into it. There's this. Then there's he never thing, responded oh, to me, so. Well, okay, my phone died. Sorry, I don't know what to say. Also, That's and then I did reply. That's very convenient. Um, His phone right. died and he hasn't charged it since yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just let it die. He responded no, to you, me yesterday, so that's no, weird. I, re I replied. What do you mean? No, you didn't. I said, what's that? What's what? What are you? What? I didn't understand the question, so I didn't reply. What is what? What are you even asking? Tell your story. Why don't you tell right. your story? There's a thing that some like Catholic high schoolers go to. It's called Kairos. It's like a four day retreat. And I recently watched a movie that uh, 
involved, part of the plot was the character going through Kairos. And so that made me interested in like listening to firsthand accounts from people I knew. So I was like, who do I know that went to Catholic high schools? And then I texted them and asked if they had gone to Kairos. Did anyone else? No, no one had been. So is this even real? I think it's kind of died out. Uh, 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 it was more of a thing in like late 90s, early 2000s, which is also the time period like in the movie. Like the movie trying, just came out. I was trying to something. ask you what the movie was. And that's when oh. you were thinking. So now well, I just never know. Fine. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, the movie's called Yes, God, Yes. Um, <laughs> that is not how, look. So Wait, the last thing I say is, is this the one that's about, it's like an innuendo? I don't think that's even an innuendo. <laughs> I think that's just is what it is. Okay, so it's not really about God. It is, for sure. But it's also about... It's about a Catholic high schooler struggling with her sexuality, and then she okay. goes on Kairos and realizes that everyone in the system is like a huge hypocrite. Yes. Spoiler. Could, Whoa, couldn't spoiler. see what happened. Yeah, I know. Spotlight's only been out for five years. Uh, <clears throat> on Netflix? On the yeah, I saw, I saw a trailer for that. That reference lift. Yeah, I didn't even hear it, so. What was it? Oh! Uh, that just reminded me, uh, when I listened back to the podcast that me, Stephanie, and Justin were on, Justin made a really, really, really funny joke that I did not catch at the time, and I don't even remember what it was, but I just remember listening to it again, and I was, like, laughing my ass off. Justin's really funny, man. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it kind of whiffs. It's too, like, dad jokey. But other times, he's actually really funny. What was your joke that we all missed? I, I said Spotlight came out five years ago. I know you the know, movie. Spotlight, I the joke. it won Best Picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also a very similar theme of, like, you know, uh, the uh, system of Catholicism. Uh, you know, doing questionable things and kind of having what? like moral ethics inwardly. Yeah, uh, that was a lot Catholicism. Of Why is Catholicism always winning so many awards? Maybe it's because huh? people are maybe it's because people are jealous. Because the people voting are also Catholic. Wait, Catholicism is winning awards? What are we yeah, talking about? Yeah, people are always making movies about Catholicism, and the movies always win awards. Yeah, not name uh, seven. The two popes. Maybe not in a good Lady way. Bird. You know what I mean? Um, Lady Bird isn't about Catholicism necessarily. She goes to Catholic school, bro. Yeah, but it's not about Catholicism. It's about her. Spotlight. I wonder if Lady Bird went to Kairos. That movie about okay. the nuns. Um, the nun? No. Oh. I think it's actually a TV show. But anyway, they're always making stuff about Catholics. They right, make stuff about a lot of different things. No. Also, it's most these aren't like. Yeah, it's. They're not painted in the best light. In all of these things, especially well, recently. I, yes. uh, I said it's because people are jealous. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's what it is. <laughs> they're jealous. Oh, jealous of all the um, pedophilia in the, the church. <laughs> I wonder if Lady Bird went to Kairos. Doubt it. If she did, she probably made a mess of it. Yeah. They should have shown us that. That would be awesome. That would be a good... Maybe that's an outtake. <laughs> you should ask... You should You should do a, ask them if they'd be willing to fund your spinoff with the same actors of her going to Kairos. Well, I think we're nearing the end of the show here. Uh, okay, I, I would just like to just go back to how this initially got brought up and saying that, like, I didn't do anything weird. I just asked if you went to Kairos, and then you were like, no. Uh, I, I did say, like, okay, when I asked, I was like, sorry if it's touchy, 
and the reason why and part of the reason why I wanted to ask is a lot of people refer to it as kind of like a cult vibe where at the time they were like into it but then looking back they were like that was very like intrusive and like not cool um so I didn't know what if you had gone I, I didn't know what like stage of no. uh that process you might have been in that, but that was why I thought it was so cryptic because I was like touchy Oh my god, yeah, yeah. what is this Kairos? Like, and, and that's also here? why <laughs> I'm not surprised that you didn't go because it has like fallen out of favor since like late night thousands because everyone was like, that was kind of weird. Cool. Like, gotcha. I don't want to send my kid to that anymore. Gotcha. Yeah. Not in a good way. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Who's you? That's and that's then also cool. uh, my, my most recent text was so now I'm on a search for first-hand accounts, and then you asked, what's that? So I thought you were asking, what is a oh, first-hand account? And I was me. like, I'm not going to reply to that. <laughs> excuse me. I said, sounds like an interesting movie. What's that? Like, what is that? <laughs> what's a movie? <laughs> like, why didn't you say, what is the movie? <laughs> that, was, that was not clear at all. Um, one, one last really quick thing. It's not going to be quick. It's fine. <laughs> you also said immediately, oh, yeah, my phone died. When now you have just said, obviously, I'm not going to respond to that. So mm. get your back straight. No, no, no. So oh. I thought you were talking about the first time. So you asked, uh, I've never heard of it. Why do you ask at 1.32 p.m.? And then I didn't reply until 9.36 p.m. And that's I because wasn't going to give died. you shade for that. That's a plenty reasonable time. Sometimes I take well, 12 hours to respond. Wait, Mary, what? you always respond immediately to me. That's because you're on the good list. Okay, oh, the time like period between when you sent the text and now is like pretty much, is like not too far off. I try to wait like roughly 16 hours to respond to Nathaniel. So wait, back. time out. There's been more time between when I didn't text you the first time, and then when you most recently texted me, and now. So why are you like, oh, you didn't text me? Like, it, it's been less time than the time period you said you were okay with. Because like, not look how upset you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> you're out here talking shit. I didn't do anything wrong. This is bullshit. For the record, I don't think Mary and I have ever been more than like two minutes apart text. Good list, Nathaniel. And so you guys just like just constantly texting. Like, have I'm you been texting your waiting for Mary to a two minute gap I, between any of your messages? That's all do I do. You sleep? You you don't go two minutes without texting each other? All I do is wait for Mary to text me. And that's all I do too. It's, so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. it's like an eighth grade romance. Yeah. Where all you do is just text. All you do is text. <laughs> That's all you do. Your life is just waiting for the next text. Yeah. Really a beautiful time of adolescence. It's a, we, we, we're going to film a movie, and it's just... <laughs> just going to be that. It's just a Zoom call of Mary and me texting. <laughs> just, anyway, I like it because Daniel keeps it straight. He hits me with the facts, whereas Nathaniel's going to send out some theoretical something yeah. I need to process for days. <laughs> What is your what are your deep thoughts on this childhood experience? Give me a full essay by tomorrow. Sorry if it's touchy. I can't imagine anybody sending any text that's ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Can't imagine what that's like. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm a straight shooter. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> oh, she's knows. a pretty straight shooter. Thank you. Dude. Messages are like, what? <laughs> Pretty straight. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nothing Can't get straighter than that. Right, right, right. I keep it real at all times. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> anyway, this has been the Experience Podcast with Daniel and Nathaniel and myself. Who's that? Mary. Me. Me. <laughs>